What is up YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick reaction slash breakdown of some new footage that Capcom TV uh, just showed actually on this stream. I saw it live and um, I just thought it would be a good idea to make a video on it. Um, so they showed some new footage of Manon, DJ, Marissa, and JP. Those are the four characters that they just showed gameplay of I think like a week or two ago. I'm not exactly sure on the date. Um, and they also show some new gameplay of e uh, not e Honda. Yes, Ihanda. E Ihanda e and Dalsim. Um, not Blanca. I'm not sure why they didn't show any more Blanca footage. At least I don't think they did. Um, but yeah, it seems to be a newer build of the game where the animations are more fleshed out. At least that's what it seems like to me. So um, some cool gameplay from them. Um, before we get into it, let's look at some tweets that they showed that give us some explanation of all the new characters' moves. Um, so first, JP can control the entire screen with ease, especially with Departure, a special move that places voids of power in the air so it looks like one of his special moves is to place these little um portal type things and depending on i guess like light medium or heavy you can choose uh, i guess where you want to place the portal and it seems to be really good you can either place a or you can either make a projectile come out of it or you can teleport to that location um, but you can kind of see depending on what jp is doing the animation maybe you look at the character to see exactly what option is going on then we have Marissa, true to her heritage. Marissa is an imposing force who has no trouble approaching opponents. She can even break through a drive impact with one hit from some of her charged special moves. Um, so I think this is unique to her. I don't think any other character in the game, at least that release, is going to have this where their special move is going to break drive impacts. Um, which is kind of crazy because Drive Impact is a universal mechanic. Here is Manon. Her graceful movements allow some of her normals to draw in opponents. And she is a command grab character. So maybe you can hit confirm these normals and um, actually bring them in for a mix-up. Which is very good for a command grab character to have. DJ has this new uh, movement option called Just Cool. Um, so I think it kind of acts maybe as like a Colleen vanity step where you can choose maybe the distance to go and then there's a couple of options you can do after it. It looked like there was a run. Maybe it's more similar to Ken's run, but there's like an overhead option, uh, a, a kick option. So you can see uh, just a lot of different movement options. A new move that he hasn't had in previous games. Um, here is E Honda. He has a new move called Sumo Dash. He moves forward with a traditional sumo shuffle and follows with more pressure or a launcher. Um, I don't think they've showed it yet. So there's a back throw from E Honda. Uh, that was his V skill from Street Fighter V. It allows, I think, more plus frames on hands, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that's the Sumo Dash. No, maybe not. No, I think this is a sumo dash. So he's like running forward and launches you. And it looks like he gets a butt slam after. Um, and then I couldn't find the post for Dalsim. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe they didn't actually make a post for Dalsim. But he basically has like all of his Street Fighter um, 4 and 5 moves with all the floats and, and yoga gales and air yoga flames and whatnot. Um, but here is the one for Blanca. He has actually, he has a Blanca Chan dolls that he can just put on the ground so those are the normal things uh, for some reason he has like an air rainbow ball um, but here is the new move he sets down the toy he can set it on or electrify it i guess and make it start bouncing at you so that seems pretty cool pretty unique um wish we could see more footage of that but let's just take a look at the gameplay footage it's not like super high level um they're just kind of mashing, I would say. Oop. Let me uh, turn on the screen. There we go. So right here, DJ, that machine gun blow, you guys see how much damage that does? I'm not sure if they like made increase the damage in this game or something, but one hit into a special move does like 25%. I don't really understand that from DJ that was kind of crazy a little bit of a pose from from the DJ this beach stage is also just super sick I'm a, I'm a real big fan of this 
This is her level one super. It kind of looks like a Colleen type. No, it looks like Kula super from uh, from KOF. You can see DJ's drive impact. Very natural for him. Um, that throw animation does look a little bit wonky. I'm not gonna lie. That looked like a command grab of some sort. Actually, it said counter. Let me actually go back. Maybe it was just a counter hit throw. I'm not really quite sure. Drive impact into throw. And Manon does have these levels. I am not sure what they do. Maybe they'll explain later on. But she can level up. Actually, we can probably take a look back to see how she leveled up. Okay, so it looks like after a command grab, she gets a level. And that will do some type of thing. Uh, supers are hit invincible and throw invincible, but not projectile invincible anymore, at least as of the previous beta. And just another straight super from the Manan player to tie it up. Punish counter throw into the extra damage. Throw C drive impact. Bro, that move just does so much damage. Okay, she... That was a reg... No, that was a command throw. So she has level 3 now. Did it carry over from the previous round? It actually did carry over from the previous round. So it looks like maybe... That's very interesting. It's a resource that just keeps going up, it looks like. So then, like, the third round, she, she might be, like, broken. Or maybe they're just not using these stocks. Or whatever. It's really hard to say. Considering I don't think they've revealed what exactly that that store does up there um, But she she does a lot of characters in this game have like something you can store like jury has her fuha stores uh, Ryu has a dungeon fireball uh, Jamie has his drinks You know, so now we got JP Whereas so this stage is also super cool. I'm not sure if they've showed it off um, But I think it's in the Coliseum if I'm not mistaken, I'm guessing this is Marissa's stage. A punish counter throw. And I don't think they talked about this in the Twitter video, but he has some sort of projectile where he just fires off a fireball. And people were actually theorizing that this projectile is M. Bison because it is like red and purple. So since M. Bison is dead, maybe JP is summoning M. Bison. Not quite sure how true that is, but you, I mean, if you look closely, if you if you squint your eyes, you can kind of see it. And a little bit of a punish on the whiffed drive impact right there from the Marissa. Punish counter into the throw. And he has a staff move. He's able to set up. Uh, I'm gonna call it the M. Bison. I really like that theory that he is, because it, it looks like psycho power and looks like an actual like demon spirit in the in the fire. A little bit of a lariat from Marissa, and unfortunately, we're only going to get two rounds there. We didn't really see her charge special moves blowing up any drive impacts. I don't think, unfortunately. Um, but did get to see a bit of JP special moves So that's pretty cool And I think this stage something about this stage and these characters just look amazing Like Dalsim's animations. Look at this yoga flame Yoga fire animation. He has some sort of anti-air It just looks so cool and I feel like E Honda's hundred hand slaps And do you guys see Dalsim's throw animation? It actually I think Dalsim has the coolest throw animation so far. But you're going to see it in a bit. E Honda's 100 hand slap just has so much impact, it feels like. He gets a punish counter throw. Tries to teleport, but gets hit out of it. Look at that forward throw. That is insane. And Dalsim just looks so stretchy. And the teleports. Ha look at that. Ooh. Like, it really looks like he has 100 hands. That drive impact looks insane. Like, Dalsim just, for some reason, has the best animation so far. And, yeah. So I'm hopeful that 
Maybe this is just like a newer build and every character gets this type of treatment because I feel like it's just way better than what we saw in the beta and Dalton's like meditating during his uh, parry animation. He has an anti-air. Look at look at that drive reversal. That that that's actually sick. And his uh what's it called? Dive kicks are, look super fast. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. But maybe it's okay because everyone has a parry to deal with dive kicks. Punish counter throw. Just a little bit of health. And a whiff punish, I think, from the E Honda. Right there. Let's go on. He's got the horizontal fireball. I think he also has the arching fireballs as well. The E Honda did his drive impact after the Dawson player did. Slide right there. He has his float. Drive impact beats the teleport. But I'm sure he could have gotten a juggle maybe with a dri parry drive rush. Just a bunch of scrambling going on. Look at this. Oof. I'm not sure what how he got the other throw animation. Maybe he maybe the E Honda was crouching. And it's like a different animation. And a back throw. Oh I thought the Dalson was about a win. E Honda gets the sweep. We didn't get to see any supers unfortunately. Um, but overall everyone's animations look super cool from what I can tell. We didn't get to see any Blanca. I think because it was just one one character left, uh, Blanca. So they were kind of like pairing them together. And they did show a bit of Blanca at Tokyo Game Show. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think of these characters. Uh, what you thought of the gameplay of uh, JP, Manan, Marissa, DJ and E Honda and Dalsim. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought and I'll see you guys in the next video.